what I'm saying? It's your boy back with another list. So everybody was up in arms about the top 10 hottest rappers of 2016 list MTV put out. And it was number one, uh, Kanye West, Drake, uh, Chance the Rapper, this and that. I put together my own list. And I didn't, I kind of agreed with MTV lists to a certain extent because I'm like, they said hottest rappers and they went by social media and this and that and that. They had their own reasons. Me, if I put together a list, it's going to be different. If if I put together just my favorite list, it's going to be summer. I try to be unbiased as possible with this. This, I, I made a chart. I calculated. I made... I ca I went by on bill by billboard. I calculated and did gave stats and numbers and stuff like I really thought this out. The categories were artists, songs, airplay, digital songs, digital artist chart number, uh, streaming songs, albums, album artists, uh, art songs by by the artists. And rap album, and they all had numbers. They all was charting a certain certain uh places. And if you charted on these different lists on the Billboard, you got points. So for artists, with what I did with the highlighted areas, if you were in the highlighted areas, which are albums, album artists, song artists, rap albums, and artists, I gave you an extra five points. So. I calculated this all up. The only one I didn't do, uh, I did it towards this, but I kind of did my own number with it. I didn't go exactly by the chart with this personal artist, but that's going to be later on the list. I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible. I've explained everything. Now I'm just going to give you the list. It ain't going to be nothing super fancy or whatever. I'm just going to give you my list. Number 10, Rick Ross. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, he's he's on this list. He was on the billboard. I did the numbers. Hey, he got a 24. With my, my system, he got a 24. So he's on here. Number nine, Travis Scott. He got a 27. He got 27, so he made the list. Number eight, a surprising person on here. Logic with 31. So, moving on. Number seven, Jeezy came in with a 40. All right. Number six, it hurt my heart to put it on here. You know I, I'm not biased on this list because hey, I put people on here that wouldn't have never made a list from me. But number six, designer, he got a 47. He had he was charting, he was charting a lot. Hey, he did that. He, he made the list fast and square. Number five, I didn't think he would be on here, but a hey, that's the if you a powerful artist, it don't matter if you put out projects this year or whatever. A hey, if you were still charting and if you were still putting up numbers, a hey, you made the list, a hey, because you were still in the categories, the calculations they worked out. Kid Lamar, number five, with a fifty-two. Now he put up, hey, did some numbers, did numbers. Number four. So, very surprising, very surprising on here. Kevin Gates with a 61. He was on a lot of the, of the chart areas. He was on albums and streams and this and that. He was on a lot. So, Kevin Gates with a 61. A Louisiana, he put on. I hate him, but he made it. <laughs> uh, number three, Future. Future with an 85. He had... He had a little bit of help from, from Drake, cause it, it well, and vice versa, because they both put out the album together, so so both of those numbers went together. But um he put out some big numbers, man. He had a lot of projects he put out. And he was charting all over the place. Hey, he had a few albums that was charting. So even the mixtapes, you know mixtapes goes as digital streams now. So hey, future with an 85. Number two. I was biased on this one. I'm, I'm going to be too, totally honest. I was biased on this one. Because his album just came out. But I know. I know he's going to. He had one of the highest debuts of the year. I don't think they even. That even calculated into this list. So. 
Yeah, one of the highest debuts, and I know the album is gonna go to sell more. Y'all already know who I'm about to say. J. Cole. He had a 39, but that's without this album and this and that. That was just off stuff, off last year's stuff, off stuff two years ago. He still had a 39. Because he still he had still had stuff charting. So he had 39 because I know this album right here is gonna do. It already sold like 500,000 already. It already went gold. It's already like the number number two uh, best-selling rap album. Well, I ain't going to say number two because uh, Kevin Gates did go platinum. So he's up there with the, with the highest rap albums of the year. So only, only Drake did a, a better first week than him. So that is why J. Cole is on my list. If you mad at it, hey. I could have made exceptions for other people, but I, I didn't. That's the only person I made an exception for. Number one, Drake. Drake had a 180. 180. So he blew the list out by 100 points. He was all over the charts. Kanye was number one on the highest list. He didn't even make my list. Kanye finished. Kanye had a, had a 17. I thought Tory, Tory Lanez had a lot of spots on here. But they were low, so he didn't get a lot of points. He had a 19. I was hoping he made the list. That's my dog. Shit, one of my favorite, my favorite rapper is Joe Button right now. He didn't even make the list. So that's my little list, man. And you could debate it. You could, you could give your input. But, hey, it's based on Billboard, based on, on numbers, vice versa, etc. I did the calculations. Hey. <laughs> Fuck with me, like, comment, subscribe Gonna be the greatest and the most hated Peace out